Hi, this is Chris from AHA. Every team has their own unique workflow. Extensions allow you to radically customize the experience of AHA Develop so that you can match exactly how your team works. Today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to work with extensions in AHA Develop. Let's go. Let me look at one of my features here. This one's called Track Goals Over Time. And I see that I have the Planning Poker extension installed. If you're not familiar with it, Planning Poker is a way for teams to reach consensus on how much work a particular feature might take. And they do this by placing a bet on how many points they think the feature is. Each person places their bet without seeing what the other people did. And then all of the cards are shown at once. And so this feature here, track goals over time, I think maybe this is three points. And if one of my colleagues votes, maybe they vote five points. Okay, so Mike thought it was five, I said it was three, average is four. And so this is a good way for us to come to an agreement and a consensus on how many points we think the feature is worth. What happens if we think this might be a really big feature, more than eight points? It would be nice if I could modify the scale. So over on the right hand side, what I've done is I've forked the code for the planning poker extension, and now I can make my own modifications to it. So the code itself is in one file here. It's 180 lines of code. It's using React to render the cards that we see on the left hand side. So let me start with a really simple change. Let's imagine I wanna support features that are slightly more points, up to 13 points. Okay, so I can make a change to my code, save that change. And then I can use the aha command line to install this extension now into my account. So extension install. What this will do is compile the code, upload it to AHA, and you should have noticed almost immediately over on the left hand side that new code is now running, and now my scale goes all the way to 13. Great, so I can vote 13, now we've got a new scale. And I can make any sort of change, maybe my team works in powers of two. So over here I can say well all right two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, all right, we don't need the extra scale anymore. So I can save that change, install it, and now when I come over here, I have a new scale. I can vote 16, Mike over here, his vote still says five. If Mike comes and votes again, say eight, great. All right, uh, that's excellent. Now, what else might I wanna do? Right now, we're using the average. Maybe we think the median would be a more appropriate way to gauge whether we're reaching consensus. So let's have a look down our code. We have this function here called vote analysis where we analyze the votes. Right now it's computing the average. What happens if we change that to median? So I have a function I prepared earlier. It's gonna compute the median for us. So we'll say the median, compute the median over our estimates. And down here, we'll change the caption, median. And there we go. Now, before I was using the install method to install the code each time I changed it. Uh, it gets a bit tedious if we're changing it a lot. I can also use the watch command to watch for changes in my directory. And every time I change a file and save it, it'll be automatically uploaded to R. So I'm gonna save my file here and we see it uploads automatically. And now on the left-hand side, I see that my computation has changed to use the median instead. Turns out with this data, the median and the average are actually the same number, but as more people vote, the median might be a more accurate representation. So I've shown you how easy it is to modify an existing extension with AHA Develop. So you can visit the AHA website and sign up to try AHA Develop for yourself.